Hey y'all, my name is Ebony. I'm the CEO of Ebony's Mobile Notary, the founder of 757 Notary Sisters, the owner operator of Boss Events, and we got another business. I have been researching and researching about mobile home flipping. Um, I was very, very passionate about this mobile home flipping thing. Um, the reason why is because rent is skyrocketing. Um, I am a renter. We all know that I don't own a home, but rent is skyrocketing. I moved from my last apartment because they were turning them into luxury apartments and the rent was going up, right? And I'm like, that's just crazy. I'm not paying that for rent. And so I moved into another apartment. And now this apartment is having renovations and we're changing over to luxury too. So I'm expected that my rent is going to go up, even though that's about me personally. But it also gave me the drive to say, Ebony, you've been wanting to get into this other business that kind of ties into this. So we're going to get into it and we're going to track this journey. It's all very new to me. But I'm going to take you guys along with me, same way I did with the notary. If you go back to my first little video and I'm riding that little bike and I'm like, y'all, I'm going to be a notary and make $10,000. Yo, your girl is getting ready to mobile home invest, okay? And we are going to fill the gap. So, and I know it's probably not ideal for people to be like, oh, I'm not living in no mobile home park. I'm not, yo, yo. I'm really thinking that there is a need and that when it comes down to it, say I can get a one mobile home and just start one at a time, buy that one, renovate it, flip, fix it up. And then instead of you paying freaking $1,700, $1,800 a month in rent, you'll be able to live there. It'll have all the same amenities. I don't know. I have a dream. I, it, it's something that I just really want to do. And who's to say? I may buy the mobile home and I may live in it. Because why not? It'll be mine. It would be, I would own the shit, right? Like, it makes sense. So, needless to say, with every business, you know, I'm very on let's do it right. Let's structure it right. So, the first thing that I did was I wrote my why. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this to fill a needed gap, okay? I'm doing this because I feel like if I can invest, remodel, flip, I can make a home for someone who needs it. I feel like that there is a gap or either there will be a gap. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Y'all just going to keep renting for $19,000, $2,000 a month. Or maybe everybody in the world except for me can afford luxury apartments. I I don't know. But I know that I make over ten grand a month and spending $2,500 of it in rent sounds insane to me. But maybe it's just me. Y'all know I'm, I come from a different block, so... Maybe it's just insane for me. Y'all look crazy, but y'all know today is the day. I got to go get myself together because we booked and busy with weddings and 360s all weekend. So we will turn pretty in a little bit. But I definitely wanted to push my content. Y'all know I'm very authentic with it. So we are going on a mobile home investing journey. This is a full business for me. I wrote my why. I wrote my business plan. I made a budget and I set short-term goals, long-term goals. I'm going to be accountable. But where am I getting my information from? And I know I'm about to mess up her name because I messed it up before. So I found her on TikTok. I'm going to post her TikTok right here. And then she also has a Facebook group that I've joined and she like me, y'all. She be in the group live. She putting out tips, just the same thing that I'm doing. I booked the one-on-one -on -one call. I did take her free webinars that she was offering back in August and I kind of put it down and I was like, okay, not yet. Cause I was busy doing stuff with the other businesses. Cause y'all know my hands be full. But when I say God has been like this, go, go. 
What's the name of the business? Go on ahead and get that LLC. Go on ahead and get that EIN. Go on ahead and write that business plan. Go on ahead and do this. Yo, God, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why you keep tapping me? And I mean, he tapping. He tapping. He tapping. So, baby, your girl done got the LLC. She done got the EIN. She done made the business plan. She done created the budget. Getting ready to create the logo now. Okay? Getting ready to hire somebody to build the website now. And actually, I probably don't need the website right now because I have no idea on what I'm putting on it. But we getting ready because if we stay ready, we don't have to get ready, right? So I'm putting all my ducks in a row. I am going to track this journey. I am going to take you guys with me. I am still going to talk about notary because this is my stepping stone. This was always my goal. Well, it wasn't. I guess not. Initially, it was, I wanted $10,000 a month to get a BBL. Never got the BBL, definitely got the $10,000 a month um, over and over again. And I always said that my notary business would be my stepping stone to do something greater. It has been my stepping stone and it's going to allow me to do something greater. And this is my greater. And maybe I'll just start off with mobile homes and eventually I'll get into single family homes and duplexes and triplexes. But I know that I want to fill that rental gap. And I just think starting with mobile homes would be a great ideal investment for me. Um, like I said, I've already budgeted. I've got all my ducks in a row, y'all. Like when you're running a business and you've done it the first time and you've done it the second time, it's a rinse, lather, repeat, right? So I'm going through those same steps and those same motions of having that business plan, getting my LLC, getting all of these ducks in a row, finding out what my state laws are, what the requirements are, how much of an expense is it going to be? I'm laying the foundation to do the work so that I, this business can flourish, right? And I hope that y'all enjoy the ride because we going, we going, 10 toes in, we going. But I know y'all don't like watching, so we at the seven minute mark, y'all. If y'all trying to get on with the mobile home investing, it's not like it's not a startup cost to it. And this will be the first business that I will obtain business credit because it makes sense, right? Like I will always say, like, I didn't understand why did I need a Uline account for my mobile notary business? Why do I need a Lowe's account for my mobile notary business? Like it just didn't make sense. And I understand it. I wanted to build up to use other people's money and whatnot, whatnot, but it had to make sense to me. And now I'm in a position to where business credit does make sense, but I'm also coming to the table with money as well, with money, okay? So don't think that, oh, I only got $100. No, your girl, y'all know, if you've been following my journey, your girl been stacking and saving, eating turkey sandwiches, stacking and saving, stacking and saving, sacrificing not getting a haircut, not getting those $90 eyelashes. I was making short-term sacrifices for my long-term goals. And it's paying off. That's crazy, ain't it? Short-term sacrifices, long-term goals, then you get the payoff. Who would have known? So, hopefully y'all with me on this ride. We getting ready to get into it. So just remember that on today, October the 20th, that we have obtained our LLC, we've got our business plan, we've got our short-term goals, our long-term goals, our EIN number, we have gotten our one-on-one -on -one call book with who's who I'm going to hopefully she'll take me on. You know, I don't mind doing the one-on-ones over and over again. It was a paid call. So if I got to meet with her weekly, Cool. Whatever it is that I need to do, I'm doing. So I'm getting my education. Um, I am doing my research on everything. I am communicating with other people so I can have a team because I might not be able to handle everything by myself. And then at this point, I am looking to hire an assistant because I always have things going on. Somebody that can keep me straight with my weddings, my notary appointments, where I'm speaking at, all of these things. 
So that are those are the things that I am looking for, if that makes sense. Alrighty, I will holler at y'all later.